Please be seated. Take a moment and breathe. Settle into this space from the rush of the morning, from the streams of consciousness that you're flowing in. And center here. Be here. Listen in the silence. Listen in the silence. Listen in the noise. Listen. Who are you when the mask is firmly on, when the script is familiar, and you slide into that typecast role? Hey, old fellow, well met, life of the party, class clown, wallflower, shrinking violet, strong and silent, shy and retiring, successful. Dependable worker bee, rebel. Who are you? Listen in the silence. Listen. Who are you when you're all alone, when the world is silent and sits waiting, when you can relax into yourself, content and comfortable in your own skin, hard edges knocked off, a wee bit of wisdom earned, or restless and ready for a change, or weary and ready for a rest? Are you cynical? Hopeful, here and we'll see what happens. Listen in the silence. Preacher, pastor, teacher, elder, convener, staff, steward, guest. Okay, but who are you? You are God's. G-O-D apostrophe S. Beloved and needed and welcome here. So let us worship God. We'll sing together our first hymn, For Your Generous Providing.
Let us pray. Yahweh, the great I am, humanity has a question. We ask it over and over and over and over again. Who am I? Who are we, God? Beings breathing in and out, hearts pumping, cells multiplying, synapses and neurons firing. Who are we? Travelers tending time, seconds to minutes to hours to days, days to weeks, months, years. Who are we? Consumers collecting toys, seekers accumulating insight, lovers leaning into each other like a plant stretches towards the sun, doing good, doing no harm. Who are we? We need to know God. The one we want to follow has told us that the best way to save our lives is to lose it. So what exactly is at stake here? What do we need to lose? Is it worth the trade-off? Yahweh, the great I am, we have a question. We ask it over and over and over again. Who are we? This is who we are. Gathered here are your children, your creations, your embodied prayer. Hold us well. Gathered here is Christ's body, his followers, his inspired hope. Breathe life into our spirits. Gathered here is the General Assembly of the Church of Scotland. A small part of something so much bigger your church, your world, your vision and vehicle. Move us towards your will, God. Gathered here are individuals, Isabel, Ian, Sandra, Sam. You can whisper, hello, God knows who you are. And our hearts ask a question. Who am I? Remind us, God, we are yours. Hearing that, upheld in that, challenged to live in that reality, we sense something other than ourselves in all this. Stir that sense into insight. Insight that moves us towards each other. For in loving each other, we may find answers that elude us when we ask them alone. Gathered and gifted each other. It is time to get moving. Who are we? We are yours, God. So guide us well. Amen. Our reading is from 1 Corinthians eleven twenty three through 26. The reading is from 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 23 to 26. For I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Throw open every window and every door by which your word might reach us, God. Open our hearts and our minds and our spirits to whatever you have to say to us today. Amen. I 
grew up listening to a saying, one of those family mantras heard so often it gets baked in. And I have to admit, it was the source of a lot of eye rolling, especially in our teens. But it stuck, bedded itself in, managed to move itself down from my ears, through my heart, and into that deep, deep place where wisdom settles in, bides its time, and comes to visit at the most inopportune moments. Remember who you are. Said inoffensively as you were going out the door by my mom or my dad, but usually my grandmother. Remember who you are. It didn't always work, I'll be honest. But it always made us pause. <coughs> Remember who you are. When... Nobody's looking, and no one else will ever know. Remember who you are. When the crowd says, come on, who's it going to hurt? When I want runs headlong into they need. Remember who you are. When someone hurts you, and anger is justified, and you're right, and you know it, and you feel that red mist coming down, blocking out your sister or brother, remember who you are. When you're afraid there isn't enough, and conventional phrases like circle your wagons and charity begins at home and birds of a feather flock together start to sound far more sensible, than the radical, radical welcome that Jesus calls us to. Remember who you are. We as a church are going through an extraordinary, difficult but necessary evolution. And though we hold to Ecclesia Sempra Reformanda Est, reformed and always reforming, it doesn't make it not painful. But if we are to continue this vital, vital work to ensure we are fit for purpose, my goodness, we need to be clear about what our purpose is and remember who we are. So remember who we are. We are the body of Christ. Eyes that see the world as good. Who see other human beings as stand-ins for God. Who see a beautiful world, yes, with broken bits, but beautiful. God's created world that needs all the love we can muster. We are the body of Christ. Hands that aren't afraid to get dirty or reach out or work for a better world they may never live to see. The body of Christ. Feet willing to walk the extra mile and the one after that and the one after that. Feet that slow down and wait and are in on it for the long haul. They dance, too, because there's so much to be joyful about. The body of Christ, here to hold up a sister who's struggling or sit with a brother who's afraid, with a heart hot with compassion and a voice that will not be silent when people are shoved or subtly nudged into the margins, cornered there by greed, dressed up like the way things are. The body of Christ. We are part of something so much bigger than any one of us. And we are blessed to be. In our text today, Paul recounts the story of the Last Supper and context is key. Because just before this, 
Paul makes reference to the young church in Corinth forgetting who they were. I hear there are some divisions among you. For when the time comes to eat, each of you goes ahead with your own supper, and one goes hungry, and another becomes drunk. What? Do you not have homes to eat and drink in? Or do you show contempt for the church of God and humiliate those who have nothing? This early church had drawn people into itself. All who believed were together and had all things in common. They would sell their possessions and goods and distribute the proceeds to all as any had need. That's who they were. And Paul, by recounting that Last Supper, reminds them. Jesus gathers his disciples and says, When you do this, when you do this, Do it in remembrance of me. Remember. You know, I think this is so much more than a thought, a musing, a contemplation. It is a bringing back together. Remember me, body of Christ. Hands that hold, arms that embrace Feet that walk the road with everyone. Remember. Eyes that seek love on every face. Ears that listen long. A voice not afraid to speak for justice. Or sing lullabies to comfort the fearful. Remember me. A heart whose every beat is in sync with the spirit of God. Remember. Remember the love, the life, the lessons, the losing your life to save it. Remember me. The healing, feeding, peacemaking, forgiveness, radical welcome. Do this in remembrance of me. Beautiful family of God body of Christ, sisters and brothers, come to the table. Then let's go out into the world and remember him. Amen. We sing our hymn before communion. Ye gates, lift up your heads and belt it out. La 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 la
Please be seated. At this table, we remember who we are. And we remember who he is. Hear the story of our invitation. On the night Jesus was betrayed, he did what he often did. He shared a meal with his friends. But on this night, when they shared the bread, he took it and he said to them, This is my body broken for you. Whenever you eat this, remember me. The love, the lessons, the life, the laughter, the tears. Remember me. And when they shared the wine, he took the cup and he said to them, This cup is the new covenant sealed in my love for you. Whenever you drink it, remember me. The teaching, the feeding, the healing, the forgiveness, the love-inspired calls for justice, the embodied unity. Remember me. And around this table, we do that. We remember. We sit with those long gone who loved and taught and laughed and wept and walked the path. Around this table, we welcome good friends and complete strangers. You can actually hear the chairs scrape across the room to make room for our planet home. Around this table, we look forward to those who are yet to come, but who already have a place here because God's love is uncontainable. And when we leave this table, fed, watered, forgiven, freed, we will remember him when we keep feeding, teaching, healing, forgiving each other, calling for justice for those shoved to the margins. So come to the table. It is all for you. Let us pray. We are here, God. Heart, mind, soul, and body, and we are yours. Set aside these ordinary elements. Bread, wine, time, us. To your most holy use and mystery. We are here, God, and we know you are with us too. Amen. The body of Christ for you. The love and peace of Christ for you.
We are here, God. Send us there. Amen. Christ, our peace.
wine, bread, we remember you, Christ. Love, lessons, forgiveness, we remember you, Christ. Feeding, teaching, healing, forgiving, calling for justice, and refusing to stop, we remember you. We are here, God. Send us out. Amen. Isn't it lovely when we wait on each other? We sing our final hymn. Well, it's not final, but it's final for now. (laughs) We sing a love that sets all people free. Knock that out of the park. (laughs) The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.